even on a like so today we had kind of a lower load day we, we always try to create competition you know um, even if it's a uh, again this drill 60 percent I you know try to try to make a, a, a role of it if you don't compete the players just lose interest uh, now we do have to do some teaching without a score but score is always better we did that fast break drill against the coaches today and they had to get 15 you know they play against the coaches and just get some more engaged, big believer in that. And I think, you know, part of the idea is competition is fun, right? Like, it's, it's fun, so it's just, um, I want these guys engaged, and I think that's how, how you do it with competition. You mentioned, like, the playing against the coaches. What do you find is, I guess, that gets the guys really going from the competition perspective? Like, what little carrots can dangle out there for them to win that you can really, I guess, increase the competition? Yeah, well, we do the old, you lose, you run. And even though it's a down and back, it's, you know, there's this part of it, there's a little bit of a humil humiliation to it, <laughs> quite honestly. That's not our purpose, but, and then the team that wins, today the wine wine team won, and they were talk they beat the first team, so they were talking trash, and, you know, the first team's got to go down there with their head down, but uh, it was great. Even today, like I said, even today, like on a load, we, we did finish the, um, the last part with three stops in a row, like you know, at the end of the games, you got to get three, and it gets it gets pretty, you know, pretty intense, pretty physical. Um, Tristan, unfor unfortunately for the white team, got to stop at the end of the game to win it, and you know, he, he's he's a good trash talker. So, what's the uh, what's the next step for Darius Garland as a player? Oh, that's a really good question. Um, He's kind of done it all, right? He's been a really good scorer. Um, he's a complete guard. I think for him and Donovan right now, it's just get to the next next level in terms of winning. Like, you know, like like that's kind of going to be their next their next step, and um, they need help with that. How do they help their teammates get there? Does that does that make sense? Like, how do they? To me, that's their next step. You know, continue to make help Evan get better, to continue to get um, um, J.A. better, like lift, lifting those guys. Because I do think in a, in a, in a vacuum, they're, they're, they're excellent scorers, they're both excellent passers, um, you know, they're good defenders, both of them. Um, and, and if you're just talking in a strict, like, development set, you know, Darius is the strength thing. Like, it's, it's the Kinney... Uh, you know, this is a go through your chest lead. Can he, can he, can he be better firming up and, and, and um, you know, in the Jason Tatums of the world and the, and the Brown, they start picking on you, really, really holding your ground. But I, I'll tell you, in terms of what I've seen, in terms of effort and competitiveness, I have no problem with what I'm, with the, what I'm seeing with Darren. So I, I, I live with that. Now, now just, just keep getting stronger. And he, he's worked really hard in the weight room. Um, he's been great since the, you know, uh, all summer in the beginning of, of training camp, uh, working on his body. I think we're going to see, I think we're going to see results on the defensive side when, the, when, when, you know, the big games come. You've watched him from afar for a number of years. Yeah. And, you know, one of the first things that you said during your intro press conference was how much you enjoyed watching him play yeah. as a fourth quarter guard yourself. Um, like, what, if anything, have you learned about him since interacting with him in this capacity? Super high IQ, super high. Like I was expecting, you know, when you're in the NBA and you're an all, you've been an all-star and you're good, you can score, you know, I, I, I think, but his IQ is even higher than I thought, which um, um, on, on both sides of the ball, you know, that, he had a couple of steals yesterday in the scrimmage. It's like the only high IQ guys get it. He's just got a anticipation. He reads the play really well. And then he's got, you know, he's got the passing, passing part, um, you know, but, but um, just overall basketball IQ is, is even even higher than I thought, and I thought it was high from the, from the beginning. In the past, he's kind of had some issues with turnovers. How do you keep him and, and Donovan out of small spaces so that stuff doesn't happen? Yeah, yeah, that's part of that big lineup, too. I'd be interested to look at the turnover rate with the big lineup and the spread lineup. What does that look like? And, and, and that's part of it being, a, we gotta be really intentional. What the spacing looks like with that, with that big lineup? Uh, I'll, I'll bet you, I, I would assume it's, it's higher. 
Um, you know, more space you have, the easier it is to make to make reads. Um, so great, you just gave me a great idea. I'm going to look at that. We we got to be really intentional about our, our our spacing with those guys. I think we're I think we're putting in sets that are that are that are, that are helping them. Um, the problem is in the NBA, like it just goes like this, right? It's like. Sometimes, as a coach, you know, we're on the, we're on the bench. man, we got to make the call, but it, it just, the game is like this now. So um, we're going to have to figure out even spacing on the, on the fly without necessarily calling something. That, that's that's the real challenge. You mentioned uh, in Sarasota about Isaac's role of expanding on that speech, yeah. more than just standing in the corner. Yeah. Speech, there. How do you think that process for him has gone so far? Really good. Like, I, I love how we've used him as that middle linebacker in the half roll. He love, you know, some guys don't love that position. You know, some guys don't love getting and, and making that hit, and, you know, getting downhill. But, you know, he goes, hey, coach, I, I love being it because I've become the playmaker, right? So hitting him on that pullback dive, we got to keep emphasizing that. Keep emphasizing the cutting with him. I think, you know, slow progress there has got to be better. And then how much is he going to improve his offensive rebounding? And then make open threes at a 38% click like you did last year. Now we got, like, now we're really, when the playoffs come, it's like, man, we, we, we got a guy that not saying, hey, we want to sit because we're playing so-and-so. We, we need him, um, you know, in our lineup because the defense is elite, as we all know.